Hello, my name is Sister Mary Persico. I'm very happy to be with you today to express to you something that is very important to all of us. We at Catholic Health East are experiencing and sensing vibrant and new challenges in the ways in which we do sponsorship. Sponsorship, that sacred responsibility to ensure that each one of our ministries stays true to its heritage and our Catholic tradition. This DVD explores that partnership between religious and the laity and describes how we are already doing a great deal together in order to safeguard the mission, which is our treasure, as we move forward into the future. Well, as we came together, uh, we were in a larger context of the evolution of healthcare ministry in, the, in general and healthcare, Catholic healthcare ministry. And we were part of what they call the New Covenant process, where religious congregations and their health systems were being challenged to look at the possibility of coming together to strengthen Catholic healthcare ministry for the future. Prior to that, uh, I think religious communities basically thought we own our ministries. We're the owners, we're the operators, we're everything. And then began to realize, no, that's not exactly what we are. We're partners in this, partners with the Universal Church, but also partners with so many others who share in some way this ministry with us. We began to try to focus in on, well, if we don't technically own and operate, such as a hospital, what do we do? How do we carry that uh, Catholic presence for the church in our ministries? And that's what we came to call sponsorship. As the congregation started to get smaller, in our, in our uh, congregation we're few in numbers now, and we began to uh, rely more and more on people who had been working with us all of this time and who had sort of grown into and taken on mission and charism of the congregation. And then eventually three systems, the Eastern Mercy Health System, the Allegheny Franciscan Health System, and the Sisters of Providence Health System, almost from the beginning had a natural affinity and were willing to do what was needed in order to make this new dream come true. And we worked together for almost a year reflecting on why we were coming together, what was our motivation, what was our common sense of direction, what was the goal that we were trying to achieve together. And it probably is summarized in the words is together we can do so much more. And that's kind of been one of the themes of Catholic Health East. When you consider the evolution of sponsorship, historically we as lay leaders would often say regarding a certain decision, well, what do the sisters want us to do? And I think we're beginning to evolve to asking that question a little bit differently with respect to a new decision, and that is, well, what would the sisters do? And I think we really will become true shared sponsors when in fact we ask the question, what will we do? The sisters represented something for them, uh, and that's, that's a great, I think people are feeling that loss, you know, they look to the sisters. As long as the sisters were there, the organization was okay. And a, and a big challenge is to help people understand that as long as they're there, and they're faithful, the organization is okay. It's doing what it was founded to do. When the sisters, the various congregations came together, you could see they were, they were looking at the future. Um, the things that were built, the system that was built and put in place was trying to preserve the future. Now we have Catholic Hills East that's in place. And now the question comes, who's going to continue that tradition? How does the sense of mission and charism, um, that deeper sense of ministry and that our work is in fact a ministry of healing. How does that reach not only at the level of governance and management, but how does it flow through the entire organization? Leaders in healthcare are very articulate and very um, watchful and careful and plan towards essentially building that Catholic tradition 
into the fabric of the hospital in ways that in the past we might have just taken for granted simply because we did have icons of the tradition present and walking around all the time. Religious women uh, and men were in the facilities and they ran nursing schools. They were able to communicate by their behaviors and their modeling how to live out values in the day-to-day, work-a-day world. We don't have that richness now, so I think we have to find the more traditional ways of doing that through education, through programs such as values and practice, through new emphasis on spirituality in the workplace, on tapping into our meaning and purpose, um, by raising up the, our, our sense of, that this is a ministry, that we're here to heal and transform person's lives. In many of our ministries, um, especially in healthcare, you see such dedicated people, you know, who have been there for years and years. In every arena, you know, in, in nursing, in the kitchen, in housekeeping, etc., um, who know what it's all about. And they're right there when they're there and they're making it work. And they pass on a lot of how this place is to be Catholic, how this place is to be of the gospel. So that it's not just, you know, the leadership that you have to count on, it's all throughout the organization. You walk into any of our facilities, it's not what you see, it's what you feel. And in one of our institutions, or any of our institutions, within a minute or so, you can actually feel the sensitivity, the touch, the heritage, the difference in an organization that has hundreds of years of, if you will, a culture built up consistent with the heritage and charism of our sponsors. And that's what not only I hope to see, frankly, that's what I see. You're challenged every day to say, well, how does this advance our ministry? How does this advance our mission? How does it make it better? How does it uphold the values that we stand firm on? How does it support the common good? I mean, we have, a, it's every single decision that we make. It's our duty to, to make sure they have what they need to carry this forward in terms of, of what we can give them as kind of the coaches or the moral support. And, and we have to be attentive to that piece of it. As we go around to the organizations we sponsor, as we meet with people within Catholic Health East, uh, we see these wonderful lay people who are following in the footsteps of the religious women who founded this, these organizations. And it's inspiring to see how they are doing their work, their commitment to Catholic health care, uh, their commitment to the church, to the underserved, to the poor and the needy. The people are being cared for, the poor are being cared for, there's more outreach going on than there ever was. I think that it really comes down to ownership. Do people really own it uh, and do they carry it forward from an ownership point of view? The spirit that you feel, um, the uh, sense of mission that our, all of our colleagues have, management, physicians, uh, uh, employees, um, it, it's really not changing. But that's the challenge right now, is to, to hold on to that, uh, to hold on to the heritage, to hold on to the things that brought us to where we are today, but to accept the fact that how that is done is going to change as we move into the future. When they catch that, and when that becomes sort of routine, and they really can spiritualize um, mundane activities, it gives them a whole new approach to life. It, it opens the windows, it turns on the lights. This is your moment. We have so many wonderful values and traditions and legacies and wonderful gifts that we want to pass on to people through our ministries that you can do. We don't have to do it anymore. Uh, you can do it and you can run with it. We look to you as our brothers and sisters to partner with us. We have seen your gifts. We have experienced your commitment. And now we ask you to go on this journey with us to ensure the transforming healing presence in the communities we serve. We invite you to participate in this future full of hope.
future full of hope for you. A future graced for you. You shall be my servant. Trust in me. Look at what I have done. 